little bit about Dynamics 365 on-premise. Um, Dynamics 365 on-premise is split out over CRM and ERP. It's uh, not used that uh, largely, so I won't go into it that deeply, but um, when you license Dynamics 365 on-prem, what you need to be aware of is that you buy um, the amount of use for CRM anyway, you buy the amount of client access licenses that you need for your users or your devices. And after you have licensed the cows, you uh, may use as many server installations as you need. You don't need to buy a specific Dynamics 365 server license. It's client access license only. User and device scales are available. And if you have any external users needing to access the application, they don't require licenses. There's three different types of client access licenses. There's the sales client access licenses and gives you access to core sales cap capabilities, including team member rights. You have customer service, uh, which is the same, but for customer service. And then you have the team members client access license for users that need only basic functionality. ERP licensed a bit different because here you do have server licenses. So um, if you license ERP on premise, you need to license the service, servers that need to have uh, the application uh, running. You need to license the uh, client access licenses and there's device and user CALs available. <clears throat> Software assurance is mandatory for ERP and also here external users don't require licenses. So what are the different uh, CALs that you can buy? You have the operations client access license. It's a, it's a full service ERP license. It's an operations device cow. Um, it's the same as the uh, operations cow, but for your devices, you have the operation activity license, which is limited functionality in ERP. It holds team members functionality, but a little bit more as well. As I explained earlier, that's the same on-prem as online. And the team members client access license is available for ERP as well. 